All right, guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about no-gi takedowns. I know it's a very popular thing. Everyone's requesting it all the time. Here at my cousin, Eugene. Please check out ShintoHigashi.com. All right, Sotogari, you see this all the time. A lot of guys explain it basically like Kalatai, going in for a Soto. It's not as easy as that, I think. Okay, because it's, first of all, it's too loose. When you're with the gi, you can lock the person in, right? Also, if the person has their legs back because they're shooting them in the leg, okay, if I bring my body up to reach this leg, I'm also feeding him a single leg takedown, right? Or high C or whatever it is that the person does. So it's a little bit risky. So I kind of like to get to an intermediary advantage position, right? Off the throw by into sort of like a head and arm thing and then work my Osoto from there. Okay, so what does that look like? We're in this Kyle Tai position here, classic. Okay, I'm gonna hook the inside of the arm and I'm gonna raise my elbow, take a side step and throw my opponent by. So now I'm sort of behind him and to the side, okay? From here, if he does nothing, look, I can kind of switch over, take behind, attack the foot with the ashi, all sorts of stuff. Big lift, big mat return, all those options are going to be there for me. But generally speaking, when I go for this throw by here, he's not going to want me to just go behind him. He's going to try to face me. That's when I climb up and I attack this head and arm position. Okay? From here, it's insufficient to just immediately go for a sotogari a lot of the times. So from this position, look, I'm going to maybe step and attack the ashi here. Pull the head, and then look, I'm going to elevate my elbow and take him off his leg, and then I'm going to take him down with an Osotogari there. Okay, all your judo stuff should be there from there. Throw by, top. Okay, I can go Kosoro to the outside here. we go Kouchi, hit throw, take him down his way, go behind. All my options should be available from that initial throw by. Okay, little tip here. If you don't have the proper mobility to reach underneath here, pull the elbow through this way. If the arm's sort of loose, you could kind of just bump it this way as well. Okay, and then pass by. Alright? Reach up here, and now go kosurugake if you want. Take him down. Finish that way. Of course, your grooming as well. Okay, it's my favorite thing to do. Okay, a lot of the times, pop his leg here, throw my hips. For big Koshiguruma, headlock throw. All right, some good options from there. Give it a try. Thank you.